Hawaii's Mauna Loa, the world's largest active volcano, has erupted for the first time in almost four decades. Joining us live is Professor Ray Cass, a volcano expert from Monash University. Ray, thank you for making the time. Did we have any sense this volcano would erupt? Do we usually get warnings ahead of this happening or did it come as a surprise? Yeah, Mauna Loa has been sort of on a low key rumble for about two years. Um, up until about uh, two years ago, uh, its neighbour, Kilauea, had been erupting from 1982 to 2018. And uh, almost like clockwork, as it began to wane down, a uh, very low level seismicity began to occur under Mauna Loa. And then in September this year, that really ramped up. So for the last uh, two months or so, um, an eruption has been expected in Hawaii. And do we know how long roughly this eruption will last and, and where the lava will travel? Yeah, so the eruption began in the summit caldera, which is a fairly confined space. But as is often the case with these Hawaiian, what we call shield volcanoes, uh, they often open up fractures or fissures on their, on their slopes or their flanks. And then uh, um, magma, molten rock, begins to fountain, literally like a, like a fountain, out of those cracks in what are known as fish event eruptions. And this is what's apparently happened uh, very soon after the eruption was initiated. So there is now a line of uh, fish events that have opened on the northeastern flank or what is known as the northeast rift zone of, um, of Mauna Loa. Now, the, the, the guess as to how long it will last uh, is anyone's. Uh, as I mentioned, uh, its nearby neighbour, Kilauea, um, erupted for decades, uh, finishing in 2018. Um, and this is the beginning of the Mauna Loa eruption. It last erupted in uh, 1984, a relatively short-lived eruption. Um, and pr prior to that was 1950. Um, so it has erupted many times. I think it's in the order of uh, over 30 times since the mid 1800s. So it's a very active volcano. And uh, as I say, uh, it's unclear at this stage as to how long the eruption will last. And so does the last time it erupted, that, does that give us any clues as to how it may behave this time? I read one comment from an expert saying every volcano has its own unique personality. Would you agree with that? Yeah, that's, that's pretty well right. Although these Hawaiian shield volcanoes uh, tend to have some similarities, but um, the, yeah, the, the uh, uh, duration of an eruption could vary from volcano to volcano. It depends very much on the size of the reservoir of magma that sits below the volcano and how much pressure that's exerting to the volcano and its, and its slopes. Um, so the, the last two eruptions, 1984, um, it produced lava flows that almost reached the uh, large town of Hilo, didn't quite reach the coastline, but the previous one in 1950 uh, lava flows that flowed to the southwest uh, did actually uh, reach the, the coastline and flow into the sea. So, Ray, if you were a local in this area, what would you be doing to prepare? Yeah, you'd be uh, certainly keeping your eye open at the moment. Uh, as I understand it from the reports, there are no settlements uh, in immediate danger, but uh, a lot will depend on how rapidly the lava flow field uh, extends itself uh, down slope. And of course, uh, whether or not it can, uh, for example, um, uh, break over roads, begin to block them over, block them off, and uh, further down slope, begin to encroach on towns like Hilo. Professor Ray Cass, fascinating to hear your analysis. Thank you so much. We'll be watching to see how that one develops. Pleasure.